Hello, my first graders. Today, we are working on lesson uh, 9.2. That's page 519 in your math book. So find page 519 and hit play when you're ready. Okay, so we've been talking about measurement, right? Looking at things that are longer and shorter. Remember, shorter means smaller, right? Like my clip is shorter than my marker, okay? Or we can talk about longer, and I can say my marker is longer than my clip, okay? Longer means bigger when we're drawing something out. Shorter means smaller. All right, so we're going to look today again about measurement when we're comparing objects. So I want to let you know there's a lot of different words in here and we're going to look at different clues. Um, it might be helpful. Actually, no, it won't be. You want to make sure you're using a pencil because you might need to erase a little bit. We're going to take one clue at a time, right? It's like a mystery and we're solving about different lengths. So we're going to give you a clue for each one and we have to think, what are they telling us? So clue number one it says a yellow string is shorter than a blue string. So here, look, yellow, blue, red. So they're showing us this is where the yellow string gets drawn. This is where the blue string gets drawn. Here's where the red string. So again, yellow string is shorter than a blue string. All right, so if the yellow string is shorter, we, do we want to make a, if it's shorter, do we want to make a really long line or do we want to make a line that might be kind of smaller? Yeah, it needs to be a little smaller if it's the yellow string is shorter than a blue string. We don't know how big the blue string is yet, right? We don't know that yet, but we do know that the yellow string is shorter than the blue string. So let's make a yellow string that is kind of not all that long. Okay, so we don't want to make it too short because we don't know if it's the shortest yet. Okay, the blue string is shorter than a red string. Hmm, a blue string is shorter than a red string. So, all right, the blue, well, we know the blue is longer than the yellow, right? but it is shorter than the red. So if the blue is shorter than the red, we need to make it a little bit bigger, don't we? Right? I'm sorry, we need to make the red a little bit bigger. So let's look at that again. So again, remember I said the words get tricky. A yellow string is shorter than a blue string. Did we show that? The yellow string shorter than the blue string? Yes, right? Yellow is shorter. The blue string is shorter than a red string. Well, we don't know how big the red string is yet. So let's say if the blue needs to be shorter, that means the red should be, if this is shorter, this one would be bigger. So let's make this longer. Okay, so is the blue string shorter than the red string? It is. The yellow string is shorter than the red string. So we already drew our yellow string. Is our yellow string shorter than the red string? It is. So now we have our strings, right? We have them in the correct order. The yellow is the shortest, Blue gets a little bit bigger and the red is the longest. Okay, so we're going to work some more on these together. All right, so don't be upset if you didn't under quite get it the first time through, you'll get it as we go through. Okay, so let's take a look. Use the clues, right? Shorter or longer to complete the sentence then draw to prove your answer. 
Okay, so clue number one. A green pencil is longer than an orange pencil. The orange pencil is longer than a brown pencil. So the green pencil is longer than the brown pencil. Okay, so let's go back through it. We're gonna do one clue at a time. A green pencil is longer than an orange pencil. So here they put the orange in. The green is longer than the orange pencil. So here's our word green. It needs to be longer than the orange. So what if I did it right here? Does that make it longer? Yes, right? And I'm gonna, let me just go over this with my colored pencil so you see it a little better. Okay, there's my green. It's longer than the orange. Let's look at our next clue. The orange pencil is longer than a brown pencil. So our brown pencil, here's the word brown. The orange pencil is longer than a brown. So if the orange is longer, the brown has to be, it's opposite of longer, has to be shorter. Is that shorter than the orange? Yeah. So the green pencil is longer than the brown pencil. Is the green pencil longer than the brown pencil? It is. The brown was the shortest. All right. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, here's our clues. Okay, use the clues, write shorter or longer to complete the sentence, then draw to prove your answer. So we wanna draw this as we go, so we know what our lines should look like. So let's use our clues. Clue one, a red line is shorter than a blue line. So let's start with our red. Our red is shorter than our blue. So to be honest, boys and girls, let's start with our blue instead. If our, our red line is shorter than blue, let's just make blue, does it tell us how big blue is? No, so let's make blue a medium line. Did you notice how most of the ones in the middle have been a medium size? Okay, so let's make our blue line a medium size. Okay, then it says, so let's, Finish that up. A red line is shorter than a blue line. So we need to make this red line, is it gonna be bigger or smaller? It's shorter, smaller. So look, here's where our blue line ends. Let's make our red line shorter. Draw our line, we know our line across. So a red line is shorter than a blue line. So far so good, right? Right? Clue number two, the blue line is shorter than the purple line. Hmm. So the blue line is shorter, my blue pen looks like purple, uh, than the purple line. So here's my blue line. It has to be shorter than the purple. So if the, perp if the blue is shorter, then the purple has to be long. So we're gonna make this long. Over. The blue doesn't quite look blue. Does it? There we go. All right. So the red line is blank than the purple line. So look at this red line. How would we describe it? Is this red line longer than the purple line or is it shorter than the purple line? Shorter, so here's our word shorter. We're gonna write that word shorter in the blank. Kinda have to write small. The red line is shorter than the purple line. All right, here we go. Let's look over here. Here we go, we have more clues again. Okay, clue one. Ready? So we're making these different color lines. A green line 
is shorter than a pink line. So if a green line is shorter than a pink line, right? We know that has to be kind of shorter means smaller. So let's make our green line, right? Small. If it's shorter than a pink line. So the pink line, is the pink line going to be smaller or bigger if the green is shorter? Yeah, the pink's going to be a little bit bigger, right? Like a medium-sized line. Okay, so green line is shorter than the pink line. Clue number two. The pink line is shorter than a blue line. So here is our pink. If the pink is shorter than the blue, the blue needs to be, yeah, blue needs to be kind of longer, doesn't it? Right? The pink line is shorter than the blue line. Right? So we matched our clues. So notice, look, it goes from shorter to longer. So, the green line is blank than the blue line. How do we describe this green line? This green line is, is it longer than the blue or is it shorter? Shorter. So we're going to use that word shorter again. All right. You ready? I'm gonna have you try this one on your own, okay? You're gonna try this one. I'll read you the clues if you need me to, and I want you to I want you to try your lines, think them through about the words, okay? And then we'll check it. Ready? Clue number one: an orange line is longer than a yellow line. So here's the word orange. The orange line is longer than a yellow line. So think, how big, sh what should you do? Is the orange line, if it's longer, is it a big line or a short line? Okay, and then draw your yellow. Remember, the orange needs to be longer. All right. Clue number two, the yellow line is longer than a red line. So you drew your yellow and the yellow, you already drew that yellow line. It's longer than the red. So the red needs to be what? If this one's longer, this one needs to be. Okay. All right. So let's see how you did now that you drew your lines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw lines too. We'll see how they, how they look. You ready? So an orange line is longer than a yellow line. So if the orange line is longer, it needs to be bigger, right? Longer means bigger than the yellow. So the yellow, if the orange is longer, the yellow needs to be a little bit smaller, right? Okay, smaller. Then the yellow line is longer than the red line. Mm, so if the yellow is longer than the red, the red needs to be small. Hmm, all right. So let's ask this last question. So the orange line is blank than the red line. So look, let's answer that question. The orange line is blank than the red one. How do we compare? What do we say about the orange? Is this orange shorter or longer? Longer. So we're going to use that word longer. Do you see it right there? Longer. All right. I hope you did all right with your lines. If you didn't and you want to pause and fix them, go ahead. Remember, your lines don't need to be exactly the same size as mine. You just should have gone from shortest to longest. All right. Math on the spot. Okay, this time, instead of having the different colors, we have different types, a ribbon, a yarn, pencil, and string. And we have four things. Okay, so we gotta listen to each clue. The ribbon is longer than the yarn. Hmm, so the ribbon 
is longer than the yarn. So let's see, let's make this kind of, I don't want to make it too long because just in case, I don't know if it's the longest yet. Here's my ribbon. It's longer than the yarn. So let's see, let's make the yarn. That. Okay, is the ribbon longer than the yarn? It is. The yarn is longer than the string. So here's the string down here. If the yarn is longer than the string, the string needs to be short, right? If this is longer, then this would be shorter. Think opposite. Here we go. Is that shorter? Yeah, and that doesn't have to be so short because we still have one more. You ready? The yarn and the pencil are the same length. So here's my yarn. If my yarn and my pencil are the same, right? That means they're equal, right? I have to draw them the same size. So here's my yarn, here's my pencil. Draw it across, same size. All right. So it says, draw the lengths of the objects next to their labels. So we did it as we went. It's easier to read one clue at a time and go as we go. All right, so we see which one is the longest? This top one, the ribbon, very good. Which one's the shortest? Yeah, down here, the string. And we say about these two, they are the same or equal. Very good, the yarn and the pencil. All right, I'm gonna have you do this as we go. You ready? Is the first line longer than the second line? So you're gonna fill this in as I read it, okay? Choose yes or no. So look at this first line. I'll put my thing underneath it so you see one line at a time. Look at your first line. Is this first line longer than the second line? Is this longer? Yes or no? And look at the next one. Is the first line, this blue line, longer than the second one? Is this longer? Yes or no? And the last one, is this first line longer than this one? Yes or no? All right, let's see how you did. The first one, you should have chose yes. That blue line is way longer, right? Look, whoop, all the way down here. The next one, you should have chose yes. That blue line again, look, is longer than the green one. And look at the last one. You should have chose no. This time it's not longer, this is shorter. All right, boys and girls, you are going to try on your personal math trainer.